Portfolio Tech Presentation. Creating your portfolio. Creating your portfolio begins with adding and organizing data into your files repository. Then you're gonna reflect, create that information, design it inside of our template designer, and then ultimately share that with an audience of some type. Two types of users are gonna begin the process. They're either gonna be creating a community or creating a portfolio. In this particular demonstration, we're gonna focus on creating a portfolio. So you click that button and there's a simple three-step process. The first step of which is choosing a design. What kind of portfolio design do you want to have? And that ultimately depends upon your audience, I suppose. Let's begin with clicking through a few of these, see which one we like. I'm gonna settle on the uh, Jay Valdez portfolio design. Uh, next up in the process is choosing the type of pages you want. So we start you out with some various pages that could be included in your portfolio. You can always manipulate those later on. Lifelong learner is one type, job seeker is a type, uh, or you can start blank. Maybe you don't want to have any pages at all to start off with. I'm going to start with the graphics design portfolio and see where that takes me. So we'll go ahead and give it a name here, call it graphics design, because that's the portfolio type I'm working with. And after I click the create button, it dumps me right into the content editor. So I can begin adding content in my portfolio. So I have some simple editing tools here at the top. I can begin to add rich content using FolioTech's gizmos component. We have a lot of gizmos from image type gizmos, video, Twitter, feedback forms. I can add files into my portfolio that I have uploaded I can manipulate the pages of that portfolio. I can add new pages, remove pages, reorganize those pages. And ultimately, if I don't like the initial design of the portfolio, I have a lot of options here from choosing layout differences, changing the background images, and even manipulating the entire design of the template that I've chosen. I can preview it when I'm completed and I can share it with a variety of different audiences from private to public and possibly in a somewhat private community. Files area allows me to upload any files that I want to and store those for all my portfolios. I can find help using the help link. Ultimately though, as I build my portfolio, I always want to be saving and then I can go to the home screen and manage all of the portfolios that I have created. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process to create the portfolio. The most complicated part is coming up with the content that you want to include in the portfolio.